Good afternoon, students. Today, I will discuss the last practical topic of your syllabus, that is how to insert audio and video in HTML. So here I am going to discuss there are different methods to insert and video in your HTML document. So how to insert video element into HTML web page? So there are different ways. One way is you can use the anchor tag with any particular video file and clicking on that particular link, your video will be downloaded in your computer system. And then you will watch that, that uh, video. So first is in HTML, use HTML tag, head tag, then title tag to any title, video element. Okay, then close title tag. This is the basic structure of your web page. Then start body tag. So the inside the body tag, uh, I'm typing here, click here to see video, okay? So there is a one, uh, one uh, words are there, click here to see the video. So here is a one, uh, I will provide hyperlink, a hyperlink is equal to, the, then search the video in your computer system. So I have one video that is wildlife.wmv. So here I am providing hyperlink and then I am closing the anchor tag, then body tag, then HTML tag. I am saving this. Video dot HTML. I am saving this now video.html file open this file in browser. So there is a one hyperlink. If I click on the hyperlink. that file will be downloaded in my computer system. Okay, here is a wildlife too. Okay, if I click on that, okay, so this video is here. Now next way is, so uh, this is the simple way. Second way is we can use in uh, we can insert video by using embed tag, and we can use by using video tag. So there are two methods. One is embed. So embed tag is a compatible with Win HTML version four. If in your computer system there is an HTML version four or lesser version then embed tag will work. Otherwise, embed tag will not work, okay? In uh, in embed tag, there are different uh, attributes, auto start. It means when you want to start automatic your video without clicking on any button. So you will give auto start true or false. 
if you want to hide uh, the buttons if true or false true means uh, uh, here and volume you can control the volume by giving 0 to 100 value loop it means after completion then you will again restart your loop, uh, video it is called loop and give true or a false true means you want to execute false means you don't want to execute play count how many times in case of uh, looping how many times you want to play that video that is called play count so now i am giving one example how you can do this in your document use here embed tag okay so i am going to use embed tag so e m v e d embed then give s r c there you will give the name of the or address name with address the video file and then there are some uh, if you want to set the height and width of your window of your video window here is height and width and you can also define some other attribute like uh, auto start then uh, loop uh, then play count you can use it and after that it is an empty tag save it but remember one thing for this html4 is required present time we are using html5 so in browser uh, it will be a, uh, you can watch this you can execute this if window 4 is in uh, used in your computer system so i am going to open this file Okay, students, again, in this, downloading is there in place of uh, playing uh, same in browser because due to the HTML4 problem. Okay, so HTML4 is required. So we, you can try it in any other browser. Suppose uh, I am using it in uh, open with the Internet Explorer. Yes, it is applicable. So it depends on browser to browser. So in Internet Explorer, there is no any problem, but in Chrome, it is downloading. So next is, yes, any, uh, yes, students, any doubt in this? Raghav, clear? Okay, so this is the coding. So simply, we are using one tag that is called embed, that it is an empty tag, okay? Now we are going to discuss another tag. It is a, it is called container tag, video, video tag, okay? So the, uh, it has different uh, attributes like controls. There is a source uh, uh, tag inside the video tag we will use. So we can use number of source tag. It means uh, it is just like a first video will not uh, uh, played in the screen, then second one, then third one. There is a list of uh, different uh, uh, videos. Then there is inside the source tag we will use src tag so src tag will define the name of the video along with the the location and the extension height and width again we can set the height and width of width of the 
your video next autoplay if autoplay is true it means automatically without any clicking on any button you can uh, run that particular video so now i'm going to implement this so in place of uh, embed tag we will use video then i equal to 300 width equal to 300 then use source tag and then src equal to so here we will close the uh, source tag so source tag is a empty tag not a container tag we include number of source tags and at the end we will close video tag so i am saving this so in my browser i am opening this in a, another uh, browser so it is dependent on your browser so better is to apply these two tags in your uh, computer system and uh, find out which one is the compatible now next is so in the uh, html if you want to insert video we can use three method by using hyperlinks anchor tag second one is use embed tag and third one is with the help of a video tag so compatibility issues are there clear in some browser embed tag uh, will be applicable in some browsers video controls uh, will be applicable so uh, you will have to uh, find out which one is the best for your computer system next is audio uh, for uh, first but uh, in your computer system uh, you can use the uh, you can insert the video files but these video files may be of a mp4 type or a, your a webm or ogg clear these are the different type of uh, videos which you can insert in your uh 
HTML. So there are different files uh, with the help of video tag, but in the case of embed tag, we can use SWF files, WMV files, MPEG, and MOV file, movie file. This is a quick time file format. MPEG stand for moving picture expert group. WMV file stands for window media, uh, window media uh, uh, video. Then SWF shockwave flash. So these are the different uh, uh, type of files which we can include. Uh, we can insert with the help of embed tag. Now next is audio file. Get a wait one minute. Now, next is your audio file. So again, for using audio file, again, three methods are there. You can provide hyperlinks. When you will provide hyperlink, there will be downloading. Then there is an embed tag that provide the, uh, in, it is an empty tag with the help of which you can insert any audio in your uh, HTML file. And there is an audio just like a video tag, here is a audio tag. So first, embed tag. So I am first copying any music or audio file from your com from the computer system. So here is a one file, I'm copying it. So now in HTML, here use embed tag. Then SRC equal to now copy the your file name if folders are different use the proper location proper path so save with this and then Open the file so this is the this is the way to insert audio in your HTML file. So uh, this uh, fold uh, this tag has different attributes. One is auto start. It means uh, automatically your audio will be uh, your audio file will be uh, will uh, start and there will be no any type of uh, clicking on any button. So it has two value true and false. Auto start two means uh, you will uh, automatically start your video and false means you don't want loop. After completing the audio, then replay again. It's called looping. So loop, true or false, volume, you can set the volume from one to hundred. Now next is audio tag. But remember one thing, it is again compatibility issues in some browser, you can, uh, it, it is working and in some browser, it uh, creates a problem. So here is audio tag. So in audio tag, we can use MP3, 
ऑडियो फाइल वेव फाइल ओ जी बी फाइल तो अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस तो हेयर ऑडियो कंट्रोल्स Then source, so you can use multiple source stacks in order to give the source of different audio files. And again, then source, and after that, close audio button, audio tag. So this is the second way to insert audio in your HTML file. So this is the coding. So there are two methods, uh, three methods. One is using anchor tag for providing the hyperlink with the your music file your audio file second one is embed tag it is an empty tag and it is used to insert the audio so here is a this is audio and this one is your audio tag you will have to close and if you want to use video simply use it video tag close the video tag and in the source use mp4 file not a mp3 file here is my mp3 file in my computer like this So there is a uh, compatibility issues are there. Okay, so you will have to select the uh, best one, best browser for that. Here. Okay, in the same way. You can open this in uh, Firefox. Uh, Sometimes there are some issues like uh, plugins. There are plugins are special uh, application uh, files uh, that uh, will provide uh, the smooth running of your video file or audio, or audio file. Uh, if it is uh, these plugins are missing, then the audio or video will not displayed or visible in your uh, computer system. You will have to download that plugins. Okay, students. Any doubt in this? So, in a short, you can see uh, if we want to insert audio, there are three methods. Number one, use anchor tag number two second one is embed tag it is a it is an empty tag third one audio controls So this tag is an is a container tag, 
and in case you want to insert video the first way is use anchor tag number 2 use embed tag and it is an empty tag third one use your video tag okay these are the three methods for using audio and video file in your html document you can insert these uh, elements audio and the uh, video so and uh, remember audio and video tags and embed tag has uh, this tag uh, there are different attributes which we are using in the case of embed tag so we can use one attribute that is src stand for source then auto start then next one there is a loop then volume so these are the attribute of a which tag embed tag and in the case of anchor tag we can just use src tag and in the case of a video the attributes are first is controls and source and inside the source we use src and the other attribute of your video tag is height and width then auto play then loop and last one is play count so these are different attributes which we are using with video tag and the same is in the case of your audio in the case of anchor tag use src and in the case of embed tag use src then auto start loop and volume and in the case of your audio controls there are controls then here is your uh, loop volume so these are the different attributes we can use so any doubt from your side beta yes bhumika any doubt no sir it is clear okay so remember these uh, different uh, tags and apply this uh, these in your uh, files in a html document uh, okay so tomorrow we will uh, discuss these uh, tags again okay